guys, welcome to gymnastics workout of the day. So as always, we're gonna start with our warm up and then to stretching. So for our warm up, our first movement is gonna be a sachet. Arms out to the side, one foot nice and pointed, both legs straight, sachet step together, all the way down, still facing the same way, arms to the side, squeeze those knees. And then you're gonna come down to the floor for a crab walk. So we're gonna crab walk sideways today, lifting your bottom up, crab walking over. Take it one step at a time. Don't go too fast or you might crash. And you reach the end, still facing the same direction, crab walk back. And you're gonna stand back up. And we're gonna do kicks in front. So keeping your arms out to the side, squeezing both knees, kicking up as high as you can, pointing your toes. So making sure when you kick, I don't want any praying mantis. I want nice, straight legs. And then we're gonna go into needle kicks. So needle kicks, hands down, big strong kick back. Hands down, big strong kick back. That comes through, step, back, step, whoop, through, whoa. Getting a little crazy here. And we're gonna do it coming back. Hands down, big kick backwards, step through, hands down, backwards, through. Keeping your arms. Oh no! Squeeze by your ears. And now we're going to do our straight jumps. Squeezing our legs straight, arms up, jumping backwards to the end, and then jumping forward. Now we're gonna move on to our stretching. So to start, we're gonna do our lunge. So one foot in front, one foot behind, keeping that back heel on the ground. Well, that back leg straight. We're gonna lean as far forward as we can, keeping our back heel on the ground. So if you're leaning forward and your heel comes off, you've gone too far. Switch legs, other foot in front, back heel down, lean forward. Nice and slow, and hold it where you feel comfortable. We're stretching out those calves. And now for our standing straddle. Not too big of a straddle. We want to keep it a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. Reaching down for one foot, keeping both legs squeezed straight. Trying to fold our body in half to where our nose touches our knee. And keep your legs squeezed. Reach over to your other foot. Nose trying to get to your knee, keeping both legs nice and straight. And now we're going to do our reverse shoulder stretch. So sitting down, pinkies together behind you, scooching your bottom forward, and holding. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Flipping over onto your belly, we're going to do a cat stretch. So with your bottom sticking up in the air, you're trying to get your shoulder, your, oh sorry, armpits down to the ground. Our last 
stretch a pike. Squeezing your knees, pointing your toes, sitting up nice and straight, and leaning as far forward as you can, keeping those knees squeezed to the ground, trying to get your nose to your knee again. This one's a little harder. Uh-oh, see my knees came up a little bit. I gotta be careful. Awesome job today, you guys. Okay, so we're gonna hop into our first skill. Hi, Coach Lexi here. We're gonna get started with our first level one skill of the day, T holds. We have five movements and we're gonna do each for one round. We're gonna start off with 20 seconds of a lunge hold, then 20 seconds of an elevated lunge hold, focusing on our back leg being elevated and having a pointed toe and straight leg. Then we're gonna do 10 elevated lunges into a T hold. Then we're gonna do 10 lunges to T hold with our hands on the wall, making sure that our back leg is straight and pointed. Then we're gonna end with 10 lunges to T hold. We're gonna try to hold that T for about three to five seconds before we put our foot back down into a lunge. Don't use that Hey guys, it's Coach Adlai. This is the T-hold activity with a focus on our arms for level two. We're gonna be doing two rounds of five activities. Let's get started. For our first activity, we're gonna be doing some shoulder stretches. Um, if you guys saw the last video, you already know what these are, but we're gonna be putting our hands behind us. Our fingertips can face toward us for this one. Scooch our bottom forward and bend at our arms. Hold that for 20 seconds. Then for the next one, our hands are gonna go the opposite way, so our fingers are facing away from us. And we can scoot our bottom forward to stretch our shoulders that way. Awesome. For our next activity, we're gonna be doing something that sort of resembles an arch hold, but instead of lifting up both our arms and our legs, we're just gonna lift up our arms. We're gonna do these 10 times, holding it for five seconds. Now they look like this. My legs are still on the ground, but I lift with my head tucked in. Just like that. Next, we're gonna try holding our lunge on each side for 30 seconds. Those are gonna look like this. We're gonna try and get the line from our leg to our back to be straight. And since we're having an emphasis on our arms today, we need to focus on those. What I want you guys to make sure of is that your arms are up at your ears, but that they're also behind your ears, all right? So they're not all the way down here. They're all the way up as hard as you can get them. All right, and they should be trying to sort of continue that line with your back. Now we're gonna try 20 lunge lever into our T-hold. That means starting our lunge, lift at the same time as we drop our chest, hold, and come back down. Now we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna add a handstand. We're gonna do these 10 times. Those look like this, lunge, Lever into a T, handstand, lever, T, lunge. For our first skill for Tuesday for level three workout of the day, we're going to do a T hold and releve position. 
So you're gonna do three rounds of 10 right leg calf raises, 10 left leg calf raises. It's where you're sitting on one leg, rise up and down to work out your calf. Five T holds with arms by your side on your left leg. Five T holds with arms by your side on the right leg. Five T holds in releve on your left. Five T holds in releve on your right side. And five T holds into a handstand and five T holds into a cartwheel. I really want you to focus on pointing your toes in these T holes and real T holds and accentuating your body. So it's really stretching that leg out, really stretching those arms out and be super tight. So I'll show you one of those now. Now we're gonna do our second skill of the day for level one, which is handstand shaping. We have two rounds of three movements. The first movement is going to be a three position hollow. We're gonna start with our shoulders off the ground, arms straight next to our legs, and we're gonna tuck our knees all the way to our chest. Our goal here is to have our back be flat as well. Once we get into that tucked position or tucked hollow, we're gonna go ahead and extend our arms over our head, keeping our shoulders off the ground. After we've held that for a few seconds, then we're gonna go into a full hollow position with our arms straight and our legs straight. Our second movement is a push-up plank hold for 20 seconds. In our push-up plank hold, we're gonna try to mimic that full hollow position except in a push-up. So our hands on the ground straight and we're trying to see if we can round our back and bring our hips in. Our last movement for 20 seconds is a half handstand hold. So our feet will be up on an object, our hands on the ground. We are trying to hold that for 20 seconds. Hey guys, it's Coach Adlai. This is the level two handstand shaping exercise. We're gonna be doing two rounds of five activities. Let's go. First, we're gonna do a 30 second hollow hold two times. All right, those look like this. Come back down and do it again. Next, we're gonna do 15 tuck ups. Start in your hollow, tuck, touch your feet or your ankles, 15 times. Next, we're gonna try our wrist strengthening exercises. We do these in warm up a lot. All right, I want you guys to do each one 20 times. I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see them a little better. First, we're gonna do our windshield wipers. All right, those look like this. Make sure that your arms are straight, not bending at all, otherwise they won't do anything. Next are blinkers. All right, these ones. And lastly, our flappers. Those look like that. Make sure your arms aren't falling. They aren't bending. Next, we're gonna do 10 handstands against the wall, holding each for 10 seconds while trying our best to push our back against the wall. All right, those look like this. Nice lunge, get your hands as close to the wall as you can. Squeeze your back up against the wall and come back down. Lastly, we're gonna try 10 Spider-Man handstand walk-ups against the same wall. Spider-Man handstands are like this. 
And then we're gonna put our feet against the wall. Just like that. For our second workout of the day skill for level three on Tuesday, we're going to work on handstand walks. So you're gonna do three rounds of 10 inch rooms with a push up, five handstand balances where you're gonna try and keep that body stacked, hold that handstand for two to five seconds, you're gonna be off of a wall, 10 one handed handstand uh, hand shifts against a wall. So you're really only shifting your weight from one hand to the other side, you're not really lifting up that hand. Five handstand walks where you're gonna try walking for two steps and then coming down in control and then five handstand walks as far as you can. So try across a mat or as far as you feel comfortable in control and come back down. If you want a challenge, you can try a, a full handstand pirouette or a half handstand pirouette. Awesome job guys, so you made it through. Now for our workout of the day conditioning. We're gonna start with 30 second hollow hold. So laying down on the ground, legs straight. You're gonna push your back into the floor. You can have your hands on top of your legs or to the side and you're gonna lift up and hold for 30 seconds. Something else, 30 seconds goes by pretty quick. Then come down. Woo. Okay, next we're gonna do 20 tricep dips. So with your hands on top of something if you can, fingertips facing towards your bottom. Move your feet out a little bit. Only with your arms, you're gonna come down and push up 20 times. If you need to, you can come down for a little break. But then we're gonna come right back up because we want to stay strong. This 
swabbing inside is a little easier. Don't gotta worry about dirt on your hands. Whew. One more time. Oh my goodness. a little bit of a rest and we're gonna come back down for 30 seconds in a hollow. Laying down, two big deep breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth. second hollow. You're off the hook for the rest of the day. I'll see you guys next time.